Hello there, this is Snipers227 here with my fourth tutorial in the series. In this tutorial, I am going to be going to create the render function. And um, yeah, that's about it. I'm showing you how to draw shapes, primitives, and OpenGL. So when we left off, we had a black screen because we put this in our loop our OpenGL code right here as you can see it says GL which stands for OpenGL um, this just creates a basic black screen but instead of having to type all our OpenGL code here we could just simply just call a function and type all our co OpenGL code in our function because once you really get working with OpenGL it's going to get really big and bulky so Let's get on that. The first thing we're going to do is create the render class. So we're going to create a header file called render and the source file called render also. And I'm just going to include render.h and render.cpp. So make a class called s of render public and make a file called void initialize which we won't use in this tutorial another one called void main render and our last one which is called update render which is just going to be keystrokes stuff like that so the only one we're going to use today is main render so we're going to go in render.cpp and do just that so void s add render main render and then we're just going to take these two lines remember this line is important without this line um, OpenGL will not draw anything so I just like to leave it here you could put in the function if you like but I'm just gonna leave it there because sometimes I delete all my code in my render uh, function restart and then I delete that line and don't know and it just causes trouble so I'm just gonna leave it like this alright so now we have to set up before that we have to set up our viewport so I'm gonna call do GL viewport and the x is 0, y is 0, and the size of our screen is 1024 by 768. Fair enough, jail load identity. And then it's GL. Hmm, um, GL. There's a matrix mode. Geo projections and wait, that's not supposed to be there. That is going to be sorry. Oh, oopsies. Don't know why that happened. Sorry about that. Um, geo projection. Move this here and GLU perspective so set up perspective we're going to set that to 54 you know what set to 45 and our double is going to be a GL float type that's going to be our height divided by our width I mean our width divided by our height sorry so that backwards <coughs> and near is going to be swan and far is going to be 1000 so when we call the geo load identity and just run that make sure everything's right you won't get to see if it's right but I'm just running it anyways 
So this is just going to set up the screen so that it basically centers everything and um, does everything accordingly to the, um, oh yeah, I forgot to call the function, but yeah, it centers everything and sets up everything accordingly to the screen size, so um, in <coughs> other projects I've um, put the wrong uh, values for the screen size and then had like a bigger screen and then set the value in the viewport and perspective to a smaller screen ratio and when I drew like a triangle it would be more to the left instead of being centered and I figured out I had to change this so it basically centers everything and gets all well basically just sets the screen up so that it uh, works perfectly fine with your window so now we're gonna draw our first triangle and whenever you're drawing something a primitive you have to use the function gl begin and then specify what there's gl quads which have four vertices there's gl triangles which we're going to use there's gl triangle strips um, there's gl lines line strips there's a lot I'm not gonna go over them you could just uh, search them up on the internet save time so then you indent and use gl vertex 3f or you can use 3d whatever you want the difference is 3f takes three floats 3d takes three double values 3i takes three integers so just use 3i um, we're gonna have the X, the Y, and the Z, so it's going to show you on paint. Basically, you have your Cartesian plane. I'll make a straight Cartesian plane. We'll attempt to. So, um, move that down right above here. Seems right. And then we will, so basically, if this is zero zero so the origin is zero zero you want to draw a triangle and to draw a triangle we are going to need three points one point up here oh, it's a bad brush another bad brush okay so oh my god So one point up here, one point down here, and one down here to make our triangle. So to do that, this would be, let's say, one, just for, it's not, the scale's not right, but let's say it's one on the x, then negative one down because this is positive negative positive values negative so if you want to move to the left you'd have a negative value so this would be since we're moving positive it would be one for the x and then negative one for the y this one would just be zero for the x because we're in the middle and one for the y and this one would be negative one and negative one so we just enter those values so first we'll start with the top with 0 and 1 GL vertex 3i we're going to do 1 negative 1 0 GL vertex 3i negative 1 and negative 1 0 and then every time you begin something, you obviously end it, so GL end. So now we're just going to have a plain triangle, and also we're just going to use the GL translate function, which translates your um, triangle or moves it. And we're just going to, since the ratio is off a little and it's going to be zoomed in, we're just going to move back a bit so we're gonna move it back five negative five values <coughs> and 
and then if we go on here, let's see, window.cpp, have to include render.h, make the pointer, render, render equals null. Actually, I'll just call that draw. Render's too matching. And then draw man render. And test this code out. So, what we should have is a triangle, a white triangle centered in our window. So we're testing, and we do not have that triangle. This was supposed to be the third one. Let's try that. There we go. So we got our triangle. So we're gonna put two shapes up on the screen. Gonna move this as in negative two. So two to the left. We're gonna move the triangle and then we're gonna make a square two. Show quads. Vertex 3i. values to one should have a triangle and <coughs> a triangle and a square side by side. I messed up again. Let's just make them all two. And you know what? It's going to change this negative one. I'll change this to three. Run it. <coughs> and I think since this video is getting to 14 minutes, I'm going to cover color in the next video. It's pretty simple.
And there you go. Touch triangle, then we have a square. This center is 227 here with my video. And if you have any questions, inbox me, comments. Um, and rate and subscribe. See you next video.